Hello and welcome back to another episode of Jeff and Angie Photography WTF Stop. So today we are going to edit a couple, well actually we're going to edit one image from my Salbar trip. Uh, we're going to do a landscape and we are going to try to bring out the blue in the glacier because it was overcast and everything you would take a picture of was in monotone so even though it was taken in color it still looked like black and white stay tuned <laughs> This is the original image, and this is what we're going to turn it into. The glaciers were very, very, very green, and it was quite a challenge to try and get the green in the image, so I figured I would just uh, do it in post-process. So let's go ahead and go down here to action and I'm going to revert to original, get rid of all the edits. And we are going to start from scratch. So the original edit that I did, um, I did take some notes and we'll try to get it as close as possible. But I'm also going to kind of do it on the fly and I might change up some things as we go along. So let's get started. Okay, so let's jump into this edit. We're gonna just kinda go with the flow and see what we can create together and see how close we come to that original image that we first started with. So first, we're gonna just kinda take the highlights down just a smidge. And then we'll open up the shadows, do a little black, bring up the whites, and then we'll go down to optics. Oh. All right, so there's the before and the after. It didn't change a whole lot, but the trick to editing is baby steps. Okay guys, just a real quick interruption in the video. I want to remind you to go over to Luminar Neo. Uh, the links will be below in the comments uh, along with a link to my website and my website has some cool stuff on it. It's got the new special that's going on right now and that special is all-in-one photography bundle. Buy it now for $99. And with my code AB15, you get an additional 15% off that price. So if you already own Neo and you wanna learn a whole lot more about it, you can get this program or you can keep watching my channel for free and you'll learn a lot more about Neo um, it's got some really good instructors in here and photographers. My favorite one right here is this guy. He, um, I, he's my go-to for Lightroom and Photoshop tutorials. So there's my code AB15 and you'll get an additional 15% off anything you purchase on the Neo website. And if you don't have Neo yet, you can head on over here and you can get Luminar Neo for as little as $9.92 a month or build $119 annually. And that too, you can have 15% off. So, but this pro deal is really the best deal going. And then you'll also get 10 Magnificent Skies with your purchase. If you hold out and pretend like you're leaving like I did. All right. And don't forget to head on over to b &H. I'm an affiliate for them as well. So if you find any kind of products in this deal zone link um, or on their website, I will get a little kickback. It's not much, but every little bit helps. Helps me get cool stuff like new webcam, microphone, 
and also helps me rent equipment so I can do reviews on equipment. So stay tuned for the rest of the video. So then we'll go into enhance and we'll just kind of enhance this image up a little bit. As you can see that blue is already starting to kind of come out a little bit. Let's do a before and after. See that? That blue is already starting to come out and we haven't even messed with the colors yet. All right, so let's let's jump down here into structure. But for structure, I am going to do a little bit of a mask. I'm just going to mask right on up over the top of this glacier here. Except I did a little, a little too wide there. Right in like that. Maybe get rid of this little smidgen here. Touch up the water here. And then we'll go in here and we'll just kind of bring up the structure just a little bit. And that'll help kind of bring out the, um, the texture in those glaciers. You can really crank it up, but I don't want to do that. I just want to do a little before, after. You can kind of see a little bit of a difference. All right. So we're just going to jump down here into erase because those dust spots that were on, actually there were probably water spots that were on my lens. I'm going to jump in here and just tell Neo to erase those for me. And just like that, they're gone. There we go. Now let's go over and let's go down here to glow. And in Glow, go into Orion Effect Soft and do a little mask because I kind of kind of don't like this water. Do a linear mask if I can get it to come up. There we go. And we'll just kind of mask that water off, something like that. Go back. And we'll go, probably go on and do 100% on that. Softness, maybe 100%. But we're going to bring the brightness down because we don't really want our foreground to be bright. There we go. Maybe a little contrast on it. Or maybe take the contrast down. Something like that. So before and after. Just kind of muted the water a little bit so it wasn't so much in your face. And let's go on up here to crop. Let's go ahead and crop this. I'm gonna do something, something like that. Looks like I gotta kinda straighten it up a little bit. It was on a boat and it was uh, rocking a little bit as you can see the water was pretty rough. There we go. And I think I wanna bring this. Oh, I gotta go over here. Put it free. I wanna bring that sky down just a little bit because there's really not any kind of interest in the sky. The interest is really all in the glacier. So that's once. That's where I want my focus point to be. So we'll put the glacier right there on that bottom third line. Here we go. Oh yeah, that's much better. Much better. All right, now let's jump down into colors. And we're gonna go into the hue and we're gonna go into green. We'll just kind of play with these sliders and see what happens. Here we go, green. Cayenne, maybe. So I'm gonna bring that green back 
back a little. There we go. And blue. Let's see what that looks like. Actually, I'm going to get rid of all the colors. And I am going to mask just the glacier because it seems to be bleeding back up into the the sky and stuff and I don't really want that to happen so I'm just gonna mask just the glacier area I get all up in here let's see what that looks like all right now we'll go back down into hues and blues, we were on blues. Hmm. I don't know if I like the blues in there. Kind of zoom in a little bit while we're working on these glaciers. Let's go over to saturation next. We'll do some green there, see if that helps any. That helps a little bit. A little cayenne, maybe. Yeah, that works. And maybe a little blue. We'll see what the blue looks like. So far, I don't like the blue too much. Maybe just a little bit less. There we go. All right, now let's go into luminous. Let's see here. Green, do we need any green? Hmm. I don't think so. Doesn't seem to change it at all. At least for me. Cayenne. Cayenne. And Try a little blue, see if that works. There we go. That looks pretty good. What do you think? Let's see what our before and after looks like on the colors. Yeah, just brought out just a little bit of the blue. That's what we wanted. Alright, now I'm going to go into Denoise. And I am going to mask just the sky. Something like that right there. Maybe like that right there. Okay. And then we'll go into our luminosity and We'll really crank it down and see. See how that helps the sky. Let's see. Before, after. Uh, it definitely helped the sky. So, now let's go into noiseless. We'll do a little low. There we go. That looks pretty good. So, we took that image from that. To that. My sky looks a little blue. I think I will go into color again. We will mask just the sky. Kind of like we just did with something like that right there. Go to adjustments and we'll go down here to blue. We'll just take the blue. Ooh, I don't know about that. Maybe saturation. Let's try saturation. Oh yeah, there we go. Before, after. Yep. That did it. Alright. So that concludes this edit. Don't forget to like and subscribe 
and ring my bell so you will get notified the next time I post a video. Mm -hmm.